You don't need to always have a lot of legendaries. There's a lot of epic options for you. Here's an all epic team for you guys. Now I'm assuming that if you're trying to tackle Fire Knight 25, you're a little bit more into the mid slash late game that you've got decent amount of gear. Thank you for 359 subs. The gear that I have on these champions is not entirely untainable. Having two EMHP champions is going to make this a lot easier. Allures are going to help keep the turn meter down. The Royal Guards can also push turn meter back using their A3 as well as placing decreased speed, which is why they're so good for Fire Knight. Also take note, everybody here is of magic affinity. We are positive affinity going against the Fire Knight 25. Now this is not the fastest team, but if you're struggling and you don't know what to do, this is something to start with and then you can build upon this. Deacon is an excellent champion to bring. You could also bring Farrakhan and the Fat. The ally attack in Fire Knight is a great strategy to use. I feel like a lot of people already know about Cold Heart. That's why I didn't want to show Cold Hearts. If you do have legendary champions, I suggest you use them if they're... Okay, changing things up a bit. We took out Royal Guard. We took out another Lure. And we brought in Dark Kale, who is a free champion. I think he's from doing Doom Tower. And then we also have Creoden, who is another fairly accessible champion. Both Kale and Creoden have multi-hitters on their A1. When you're going up against Fire Knight, hard or normal, you are looking for champions that have multi-hitters on their A1. You also want somebody to control turn meter. That's why Allure is an excellent champion. If you only have one, try her in a relentless set. So having your champions go fast and having a champion like Creoden, for an example, to place the increased speed is an excellent strategy. Ugo is also here for decreased defense, but if you don't have Ugo, you might be able to just get away with doing Allure's A2 because she has the small version of decreased defense. And then here we are finishing up round two. We're keeping the freeze up on everybody. Kale actually activates poisons on his A1. Here we are, we're coming up to the boss and I'm having everybody open with their A1. The counter for the shield is gonna go down fairly quickly. You see Allure here actually procced her Relentless and now we can go to town on the Fire Knight. We're going to be pushing back turn meter, placing poison sensitivity, poisons with a decreased speed. We have the speed boost coming from Creoden, and every time Dark Kale attacks with his A1, we're going to be activating those poisons. We have Royal Guards A2 with the EMHP damage. I think we're okay without Ugo. Really, she's here for helping out in the wave clearing process, putting down the decreased defense on the entire team, but I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with it not using her and using some somebody else. I don't think there is any one champion that can just solo the Fire Knight by themselves yet. I'd have to do some more in-depth research, but at face value I didn't see anything just because of the way that the mechanics of the Fire Knight work. Real quick here are the true stats that I have on the left side. Up here we're gonna see the presets for each of the rounds. So we have Royal Guard, Ugo, Creedon, Dark Kale. Feel free to pause at any point. Round two. And then round three. Both my Royal Guards are going to be built the same. We're looking at stats over sets. 250 speed, crit cap with as much crit damage and attack as possible. First Allure, the one that I primarily use, is going to be in Relentless. This one is more of in a stats over sets build. Again, we're looking for crit rate because 100% crit rate is how she's going to be able to push turn meter back with her A1, a decent amount of speed. You don't need a lot, but you do want accuracy. 300 should be okay. Here's the other allure, a lot faster, a little bit more damage, 360 accuracy. I think it's this Uko that I used in Fire Knight. 286 speed, 300 accuracy, and just in case, we want to look 240 speed, 360 accuracy. These are the same Ugos I use in Hydra. Creoden is going to be in a stats over sets build. These pieces of gear aren't even leveled up. Really, we're just worrying about speed with him so we can take his turns and place the freezes on the opposition as well as place increased speed buffs and fill turn meters. Dark Kale, 250 speed, 350 accuracy, nothing too crazy. The stat requirements for Fire Knight 25, not that hard. It's more about having that synergy. You can do this. You don't even need to be going that fast. So it's going to be mostly about clearing through the waves reliably as well as having turn meter control and multi-hitters. Once you have that, even if it takes a while, I guarantee you'll be able to do this. Maybe you don't have these champions, maybe you don't have the gear, whatever the case, it takes time and we all start somewhere. In fact, I started farming Fire Knight 20 before I even got to 25 and here's how I did. Check this video out.